Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me on yet another walkthrough slash tutorial of a really cool AI tool. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Lexica. So it's called the Stable Diffusion Search Engine. So you can kind of think of it like the Google for AI art. It's basically an engine where you give it a prompt and then it spits back out whatever you uh, prompted it. And by the way, if you love AI or um, are just blown away by the technology, uh, give me a subscribe or maybe even like this video. Maybe comment or if you want, you can share it with your friends. I'm sure they uh, will thank you later. So yeah, let's see what Lexica can do for us. So we're going to start with the search function, then move on to the generate function and maybe create an artwork together. I'm I'm super excited. And just to preface this tutorial, I'm not an AI pro. So if you're a pro yourself and you have tips and tricks, feel free to drop it in the comments. Cool. So we're going to start with the, the grid. This is the homepage, lexica.art. And just look at all this, these fab creations. So these are all things that people like you and me have already created. I mean, just with AI, that's that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's click into something. Let's click into something cool. What do I like? Okay, this this is um this is beautiful. Okay, as you can see here, you have the option to like it. It's kind of like Pinterest or any other social media platform. Um, here in this box, you can see the prompt. So you can kind of deconstruct what people were thinking when they were searching for this um, or they were generating this image. And um, you can uh, explore the style. I'll explain um, uh, what else can you do. So you can go down here if you can see the seed. So the seed is kind of like a uniquely generated number that only generates when you create the image. You can use this seed if you want to create something similar to this and kind of alter it. That's what the seed is for. Um, the guidance scale here is, um, well, I'll explain it later when we're creating a piece of artwork. It will probably make more sense. Dimensions, obviously just like the dimensions of the image. You can get a few iterations here. So, oh wow, these are all of the different types of artwork that this engine generated based off this prompt. And if you go, we can explore this style. So you'll get similar photos like this. Wow, okay, that's pretty awesome. And if we go back, let's just go into one of these prompts. So let's go to cinematic lighting. Which other pictures have had cinematic lighting? Okay, I see, looks good. All right, let's go back to the home page and let's actually search for something. So I love bread. So let me just do, let me search sourdough. Mm. All right, these were all AI generated. AI generated sourdough, yes, please. Okay, but uh, bread is a pretty mundane object. So what about something more specific? Maybe something like Peaky Blinders, which is one of my favorite shows of all time. Wow. Let's see, where's Tommy? Where are his chiseled cheekbones? Okay, wow. <laughs> I don't think um, he's as handsome as he really is, but this is pretty cool. And so for this search track a bit, so here we put in a text prompt and we got images, but you can actually reverse search and upload an image. So I've got a, an image of Cillian Murphy from Peaky Blinders here, and we're going to search by image. Let's see what we get. Yeah. Wow. Hell yeah. All right, cool. I am done with searching. I want to be my own artist. So let's go ahead and generate something. Of okay, so here is the interface and this is where you put in whatever you want to create. And uh, this is the button you press to create it. So I'll just walk through exactly what is going on in the screen. 
Obviously, here is where you put your dis your description. So that includes things like keywords. Um, before we saw cinematic lighting, so this is where I put that. Uh, negative prompts. This is kind of like in Google. If you don't want to search something, you can like exclude words. So if I didn't want to see in a bread picture like a croissant, I would just put croissant. Um, dimensions. This is yeah, just like. The size of the image today we're gonna use maybe we're gonna yeah let's go here i like more horizontal than vertical um coming down to guidance scale so guidance scale is basically how accurate the prompt is to what you put in so you're probably thinking why would i not want my image to look more like the prompt that i put in well sometimes less is more pal and the thing with ai is that it's not that developed yet so you probably want to be you know just for starters a little broader so i'm going to put my guidance scale at three this is going to give me more diversity and it will probably give me more inspiration for the next time i create an artwork so experimental settings this is, we don't need that Okay, now we're going to get into the really fun part and I'm going to show you a few tricks to make really great AI art. Um, I've um, actually, I learned this from the Build Space community. So they had a blog article where they were um, teaching you how to create stable diffusion um, as well as just kind of trial and error. I picked out my own tactics here and there. But uh, if you're really into art theory, this is going to be really fun for you. So the formula that um, I've just started to use is starting with the medium. So that's um, things like watercolor or acrylic paint. Today I'm going to do maybe oil painting. And then you put your subject. So this is your main subject. I want a oil painting of a Boston Terrier, my favorite dog. <laughs> and then here you can put some more details. So, for example, my favorite artist is currently Fernando Potero because I was just in Colombia and I was obsessed. Um, so this is going to be a really funny painting. Um, and then afterwards, this is um, where you put even more detail. So maybe you can say, in a psychedelic garden. Alright, let's see what it creates. Copy that. Hmm. Doo, doo, doo. Wow, this is so cute. This is so, so cute. All right, what if we put those prompts that we saw before? So cinematic lighting, highly detailed. Uh, let's say Art Nouveau. Doo, doo, doo. It's also pretty fast, you know, considering. Okay, oh. There we are guys, we have now created eight pieces of AI generated art and these are absolutely gorgeous and these would make great Christmas cards, great, great e-cards, great, I don't know, just maybe blow them up and like stick them on your wall at home. It's, I would love to see if anyone can create a painting that is cooler than this Boston Terrier right here. So go ahead, create or generate your AI art. Find me on Twitter, on Instagram, tag me, maybe email me. Um, I want to see them and I want to see, uh, you know, how people take uh, full usage of lex uh, tools like lexica arts.